representing the homeless in Concord, New Hampshire. And I give them Lisa and time to take a video of this, and I would like to explain what's going on with the homeless in Concord. Uh, we had court on a lawsuit yesterday, and the, it's up to the judge to make a decision if it's allowed that homeless gets to stay on private property or, or private lands, state lands. And at this point, we're waiting for an answer from him. But what went on in court was very wrong. Uh, in fact, it, it was they were stating that all homeless are drunks and alcoholics, and that is not true. Most of us are working people that are trying to trying to go back to work, trying to find a way to make a living. Most of us have lost our jobs, our homes, and other things around us, including some of our families. So some of it is pretty hard, but we need help. And we're asking the governor to step in and to find a program or make a program for the homeless year round. There's not enough beds right now. There's about 30 to 40 beds and they're closed during the winter time. They open up during the winter time, but they get closed and then people are forced to go back and live in tents and stuff in the state. The problem is they don't want us living on state property or public property no more. So we need to come up with a good program that is a working program like Job Corps for the homeless, finding jobs and finding other opportunities to get people educated back to the workforce so they can get back in society on their own two feet again. And we need a supporting group that can keep on supporting those people that have had these issues. And that's what we're asking. We're asking for a program for a year-round shelter so nobody's sleeping in the wintertime getting cold and freezing. And we're asking for a program that will keep on being served by the people. And we're asking for people to have an understanding. That's what we're at. Thank you, Mr. Andy, for giving me the permission to share this video with other people. And I hope in the name of Jesus that we can come out with the solution because the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, the church needs to get involved in this situation because these people need us and we cannot give it back to them. They, they are the people in need and we're here to support them in the name of Jesus. Amen.